let's look at a few examples of vector spaces. I will not in this video prove that any of these sets are vector spaces. We will see an example of a proof in a later video. We have seen two examples already. R n is kind of the R example that gives vector spaces their name. And then for a fixed n and a fixed m, the set of n by m, sorry, matrices is a vector space. What are some other vector spaces? Let D be a subset of R. The set of all real valued functions with domain D, that is the set of all the functions from D to R is a vector space. If we have a function f and a function g, we can define a new function, f plus g. And we do that in the natural way, f plus g of an input is f of that input plus g of that input. And if we have a function f, we can define a new function k times f. for any scalar k. Again, we do this in the natural way, kf of an input is k times f of that input. So here's an example of a vector space that looks very different from the two vector spaces we've already seen. Speaking of sets of functions, P sub n the set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to n. This is a vector space. We define the addition and scale or multiplication of polynomials in the same way we defined them for arbitrary functions up here. One more example, the set of all infinite sequences of real numbers. Addition is defined component-wise, scales or multiplication is defined in the natural way. There are no shortage of other examples we could give, but I think we'll call this video here.